Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to download and install Oracle 10G Express Edition on the Windows 10. So for downloading Oracle 10G, I have just opened the Google Chrome and there I have typed the Oracle 10G Express Edition download. So after, cli uh, after clicking uh, on the button, I'll get these many links. So here uh, you can see you can click on this link here one document is available and just follow that steps so here they have given so from where you get the software and how to download and some screenshot they have given uh, for the installation purpose so this is one way but what i have done i have got this uh, this link and i have downloaded the software from this link so thank you uh, them for giving such a nice document and here you can see the download software button is there so after clicking on that uh, here i got this div file and after downloading you can see in my downloads folder this oracle 10g express edition uh, folder is there and here you can see the software is there so i am using this software for downloading purpose so just click double click on that software and click on the next next button so now it is extracting that Oracle 10 g Express Edition. So it will take a few uh, seconds to complete it. Here you can see it has successfully completed and it will ask that uh, click on the next button. So here I am clicking on the next button. I am accepting the terms and the license agreement. And here uh, we want to install this in the C column. So this is what the default path. So I am just clicking on the next. Now it is asking to enter the password. So here the default username is the system. You can see a system and let me type the password as a root. So here you can use any password. So I'm using that root. Click on the next and click on the install button. Now it will take a few minutes to install. So after successfully installation, you can see this type of window will appear. So here I'm clicking on the finish button. Now after successful install you can see this logo is there and this is the default page that we got. Here you can see the first one. This is for our database login. So here let me type the username as a system and password as a root as I have used this password while installing. Just click on the login button and here you can see this um, page will appear and here uh, SQL is there sql uh, tab is there so just double click there and you can see if you want to type the sql command so you click here for sql script you use this and for sql query builder you use this so now here i want to type the sql command so let me check with this command uh, is it successfully installed or not so here what i want i want to create one uh, simple table and i want to um, see is it running or not so first let me create one table that is create table table name so table name i am creating as a student and in it one variable is there that is name and the var 20 after that roll number we are using and for that data type is number and after that just give the semicolon so this is the uh, syntax for creating simple table so here i am creating student table having two columns First one is the name and the second one is a role or we can type as a role number. Let me run this. So here just select that command and click on the run button. Now you can see it is showing that the table is created. That means our installation is successfully done. Now again one more command I want to see as select star from table name. So here I want to show you that the what is there in that table or i want to select uh, the content from that table but currently nothing is there so what it's showing no data found so this is how you can use uh, this oracle 10g 